Yes, and let's see the reveals. And uh, let's see the reveals. We see the. I think we can see the Macaw first, and then I guess the Medusa. Let's see the Macaw. My winner. This is my winner. Who is this? One of the best male vocals this season. I'm a fan. He's cute. He's a baby. Oh, so sweet baby angel. Tell us what this journey has meant to you. Oh my gosh, it was so unexpected, y'all. <laughs> We knew we were coming on. I'm gonna say that's a very sexy speaking voice. Zone, doing something different. I didn't know it was gonna be so much fun. And so, like I said, it's just been healing being able to Beautiful. be the macaw. Aww. Nicole, you got it right. Yeah, what's up, yeah. David? Oh my gosh, I love you. I'm such a big fan of yours. I just want to say thank you for being so bold and brave to share your story. Thank you. I just have to say, uh, whew, real talk, when well, my wife was uh, on bed rest in a hospital, not knowing whether our kids would live or die, we would watch Idol every week, and you were like a ray of light hmm. for my family. Oh. And it's an honor to see you in this capacity. Thank God for you, and I love you. Oh, that was an old man. I love you, Ken. Some love. Oh. I love you, Ken. Thank you. When you hear, that's real, Ken. We love you, Ken. We love you, Ken. Stories <laughs> like that, and just knowing that your gift has blessed so many, and now you're mm -hmm. here, and like you said, it's a healing process. What do you want to say? Um, just like being macaw has felt liberating, um, coming out felt liberating, and it is scary. I grew up very religious. It was a, a huge part of my life. Yeah. And I believe that if I lived the way, I, like being queer, that I was going to be evil. Mm. So I worked oh, really honey. hard to be, to be anything but that. It got to a point where I thought, maybe it's better if I'm not here. Oh, oh my God. Oh, baby, no. But um, I realized I'm, I can't change this. So if anyone else has grew up, you know, feeling like they were bad just because of who they were attracted oh, to and who they loved, there. I want you to know that it is worth taking the courage to show your true colors. It's scary, but oh, so you're, well you're worth... I mean, you see, baby Angel, I mean, the, the thing is that I usually, when I picture the people, this is what, this is emotional now. I mean, I know the stories, I heard the stories when... Uh, children are basically banned from the families when it came comes out and i was like why but the thing is that if your family shows their true color and really do that to you you know what you do you create your own family because there's so many people out in the world that welcome in with you you charm i never heard of you before and i have to say you're sweet baby angel Oh god, your sweet baby angel, I was like, I want to give you a hug. I mean, no, no, that wasn't... Oh, sweet baby angel, what did they do to you when you were growing up? Anyway, he's just such, he's a sweet. You're worth it, you matter, and yeah. mm. it's so beautiful. We love you! Yes, sweet baby angel, we love, love you. you. You just pour your heart into every performance. Everyone feels it, and it is so empowering. Congratulations! You're wow, that was a good runner-up. I just want to say, with everything that you said, that you are a gift from heaven. Thank you, my Aww. love. Thank you. Thank you, me angel. It's been a pleasure to sing one last time. The artist formerly known as the Macaw. Give it up. David yeah, David. I, need to... I mean I'm gonna say so such a sweet baby angel but I don't think I have the reveal the Medusa reveal so 
Let's see who she was. Anyway, Medusa was. Ah, oh, people have said it. Medusa was Bishop Briggs. I thought it was. I thought it was Fergie for some reason. Anyway, Sarah Grace McLaughlin, known as professionally as Bishop Briggs, is British American singer and songwriter. Very successful, also, but um. This makes me wonder. Oof. The Makashila one, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sweet baby angel, I need to follow you on Instagram or something. David Arshalala, you're so amazing, so cute, and your story. I mean, I think there are many people out there can, that can relate to your story that grew up very religiously. I didn't, because... Um, no, my family was never religious, and... Um, so when I, when I hear stories like this, that people grew up in that in a strict religious families and then comes out as gay and I feel like something's wrong with them I'll be like no sweet baby angel I have to say it feels so, I feel so sad but you know what I hope this makes you blossom out new fan base and people see the beauty in your heart and your everything such a sweet baby angel anyway thank you so much for this season and yeah questionable winner though but um yeah Thank you.